I've always loved elephants. When I was little, I read the stories of Babar and his family. Little did I know that real elephants were massacred and mutilated en masse just to tear off their tusks. Today, poaching is so prevalent, they are threatened with extinction. Horrified by this massacre, I discovered the work of Daphne Sheldrick, founder of the Baby Elephant Orphanage in Kenya. Daphne has dedicated her life to wildlife and elephants. She discovered the milk formula needed to feed an orphan elephant. Separated from his family, he cannot survive without his mother's milk and the love and support of his herd. I'm highly impressed by this remarkable woman. But anti-poaching is one of our main focuses as well, to try and limit the number of wounded and injured elephants, the number of dead elephants, the number of elephants being killed every single year, and in fact, every single day. I became a foster parent of baby elephants. I'm traveling with Frédéric and Laurence. They have been large donors to the David Sheldrick Wildlife Trust for several years and founded the association Save the African Elephants in France. When it, when it, what happens when it's too oh, hot, they stay, they stay in the shade. We arrive in Voy, the first orphan elephant reintroduction center, and meet with Joseph, the head keeper. They come very early in the morning, wake up, and the gates of the uh, stockades are flung open and they run for a milk bottle. We give them a, a very delicious milk bottle in the morning and then after that they go get supplement food. Savo being very dry, um, donors, the foster parents, have to supplement um, them with the uh, day, dairy cubes, the range cubes, the, the, coconut, um, uh, uh, the coconut cake and many other um, uh, um, uh, supplements like the lucerne grass, mm -hmm. all supplemented by the foster parents who are willingly uh, donating toward this uh, poor elephant that need our help. After there, the elephants will come, gulp uh, um, water again uh, from the stockade water trough, and um, they usually get a brief moment of socializing. Working with the elephant is my passion, and I can tell many people in the world that um, these elephants have blessings. If you help them, many people will use different ways, enjoying in uh, rather than, rather than uh, um, giving the elephants some treat that they need. This elephant needs some help, and we are happy because these elephants were dying out in the field, but we rescued them as keepers and the trust together with the donors that are helping us. And uh, now we've given this elephant's life. And this is the biggest present that we give them. The, the elephants, as I've stayed here for long, I have experience with them. When you give them love, they give that love back to you. And this is like um, we've uh, reared elephants, we've reintegrated them into the wild. And when they get a problem, because they are exposed to same dangers in the wild, like um, the wild ones, mm -hmm. they go there, they are shot by poachers, and um, they come back and show us that um, we've been good to them. Now that they have been, uh, they've gotten a problem out in the wild, we are the mothers, we are their help, so and they come. So you can take care of their wounds? 
and their wounds we take care we treat those wounds and um, they their friends will, uh, will, will I will bring them up and they will hang around until their friends are, are okay and then they will go out with them <laughs> Parce que pour moi, l'éléphant d'Afrique est le symbole vivant de, de, ce, de ce continent. Et sans éléphant, il n'y a plus d'écosystème. Et l'Afrique y perdra son âme et toutes ses richesses. Voilà pourquoi je m'engage sur de long terme pour sauver à tout prix ces animaux uniques et majestueux. Every day, the elephants enjoy a mud bath. Their skin takes the color of the land they walk on. Then they dust themselves to protect their skin from parasites and the scorching sun. When they interrelate with the, the, wild, one. the, the wild ones, how okay. does it go? Because they don't really know the elephant etiquette and yeah. do they learn? Um, here. Like, um, this is their favorite browsing area. Here? So, yeah, they're common wild herd that uh, visit this area most often. So these are the wild herds that um, they make friends with them. Yes. And with many years uh, um, here in the Stokes, they get to know these wild herds. Okay. And they get to trust them. J'ai rencontré Lampot et son histoire m'a beaucoup ému. Maintenant, elle est indépendante, elle est retournée à l'état sauvage. J'ai eu le plaisir de la revoir. C'est un pont essentiel entre les orphelins et les sauvages. Et tout ce, ce monde se, se retrouve et euh, s'harmonise pour que tous ces éléphants retournent à l'état sauvage. C'est une réussite. Our next stop is Itumba, the second reintroduction unit located in Tsavo National Park. During the dry season, the keepers feed the elephants daily with lucerne. Donc ça c'est une éléphante sauvage qui vient manger tranquillement avec les autres, profiter du fait qu'elle est nourrie. Each orphan is given a name by the foundation, which is often related to the place where he or she was found. The keepers know each of their personalities and their stories. Pourquoi avoir choisi les éléphants Parce que c'est une espèce animale qui est terriblement intelligente, sensible. J'ai envie de les comparer aux humains. Ils ont les mêmes émotions que nous. Et vu la situation actuelle des éléphants en Afrique, j'ai vraiment voulu participer à leur sauvegarde. Le projet de la Fondation Sheldrick était vraiment un projet fabuleux qui permettait à des petits orphelins traumatisés à pouvoir retrouver confiance dans une famille humaine, de retrouver une famille d'éléphants et un jour de pouvoir repartir à l'état sauvage. Daphne Sheldrick spent years perfecting the milk formula 
to feed orphan baby elephants. Made from high-fat plant milks like coconut milk and enriched with vitamins, it is as close as possible to mother's milk. Orphans are very fond of it. Each one swallows more than 20 liters of milk daily, and the weaning is progressive. When the babies are they attain an age of between two and a half to three years and they are doing well, they are sent down to the rehabilitation centers where the elephants there are taken through the process of becoming wild. The keepers actually take them early in the morning out and walk with them and at their house in the bush they get an opportunity of meeting the wild elephants, uh, which is so nice uh, because meeting with the elephants means that uh, these uh, orphans will learn much of uh, what we humans cannot teach them. Mm. Things like behavior, uh, language, uh, what to feed on, which is so important uh, they have to learn before they join the world. So the elephant stays uh, with us for like three, four, five years mm -hmm. and leave uh, the human family when they are aged around six to seven years. And how do you know that they are ready to go into the wild? They give us signs uh, when they feel that they are ready to leave the human family and join the wild. And it's by when we are bringing them back in the evening, they are reluctant. They don't want to come back. Yeah. We try to tell them, let's go back. And they say, no, we are not going back. Then they just remain back. Then you just take those young ones who want to come back to the stockade. Then what we do is that uh, when we get back here, we just leave one gate open, especially mm. the last stockade, uh, to make sure that uh, if they want to come in, they come in. If they don't want to come in, if uh, they have decided to join the world. When we leave them mm. in the bush, they come later, they take whatever is in the, inside the stock and then they, they get out. This continues for a week or two weeks mm. without them spending the night inside the stockade. Then we just know that uh, they have made a decision of joining the world. Yeah, we always take the group which we see that is ready. Maybe in six months, I one year time it will be leaving. We ship them to the store that will be left empty. Once they join the world, they don't just disappear completely, but they keep on coming almost on daily basis, most in the mornings and in the evenings, until it gets to a time when uh, it stops skipping days. Like, mm -hmm. you see them after two days, three days. And during the rain season, then they disappear for one month or two months. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, eventually they become wild. The dry season, intensified by global warming, is becoming more and more severe every year and water is scarce. The foundation has created a watering hole that it fills daily, which attracts white elephants. This provides another opportunity for the orphans to meet their counterparts living in the wild.
So he comes back, we see if he drinks this time. I see. <laughs> Some of the large white males do not yet know the rules of the game. I think this one he doesn't like to be in the water or yeah, something, yeah. Because yeah. he should have gone to the mud here. There yeah. was plenty of water for mud bath. Yes. Why is he using the clean water? Yeah. yeah. That's unacceptable. Yeah. Especially uh, all the work you do to bring yeah. the water every day yeah, for them. Day, yeah, all the way from oh, the yeah. Kiva River, which is uh, yeah. 27 kilometers from here. 27 one. kilometers, yeah. yeah. 27, yeah. Ah, he's coming back. We we'll see now if he yeah. drinks only. Drink. Ah, he drinks. Okay, good. Drink, don't waste. If you waste, yeah, drink. It's okay. Mm. Hey, again. You, you. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. Oh. Big water is good. Why you so young? Hey, don't go walking. Et il m'a dit, il siffle pour que comme ça, il reconnaisse sa voix, que c'est un ami, en sifflant comme ça. Ici à Intumba, l'équipe a eu le plaisir de voir plusieurs éléphants qui sont revenus avec des bébés. Et nous avons ici euh, Kina et Kawa qui est en train de téter sa maman et qui est protégée par d'autres euh, éléphantes pour être sûr que le bébé est protégé par euh, la horde. Most of the uh, orphans that have gone back to the world uh, have been able to come with their young ones. At the moment, in Dumba, we have got five, five uh, mothers. We have got Yata, we have got Mulika. We have got Wendy, we have got uh, Ngalana and Kina. Uh, yeah, Weaver, who is uh, Wendy's baby, is now uh, two years. Uh, Galana's baby, who is Gawa, is now one year old. And uh, the last but not least is Kama, With who is the, the youngest. Uh, that's Kina's baby. She's now six months six old. Six months, yeah. We just saw her briefly uh, yeah. Yeah, on, the, on the compound here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it shows how the projects have been so successful. So successful. Yeah, yeah. I would like you to say a word about uh, Daphne Sheldrick. She's a strong woman. Yeah. Uh, she has conquered so many problems to make this project a success. Mm. Because uh, she's the first one in Africa to have a project like, like this. And it took her so many years to perfect the milk formula. Uh, uh, she's so nice. She has made it and uh, she has shown us the way. So we congratulate her. Uh, we are in, uh, in support of her and we feel proud of her.